and welcome to All Creator Tools. I am your host, Colsey, and today the tool that we will be looking at is called Touch Portal. Now, Touch Portal is a really, really cool Stream Deck alternative. It's very much that. It is basically being able to use a Stream Deck without having to buy a Stream Deck, and instead, you can just use your phone. Just like I am here. It's flipped. It did a flippy, but here you go. This is my phone. And this is Touch Portal, and we will get into that very soon. Here we are on the Touch Portal website. Very simple to use. Now, there is a pro version that we can use, which gives you just more options and more buttons and stuff to use, but you don't have to use that. But it is only, uh, let's have a look at the price. If you want to use the pro upgrade, it's $30.99. That's for life. That's forever. Basically, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's got buttons on it that you can push and it can integrate with your OBS and your streaming software and, well, it doesn't even have to be your streaming software. It can integrate with your entire PC. You can see some of the buttons that they have here are just general everyday buttons for like Photoshop, Steam, increasing, decreasing volume. You can see here that you can have uh, sliders, unlimited amount of pages, multi-action macro buttons, custom grid size, custom button and pages. Uh, you can see here integrated services, OBS, mouse simulation, key press simulation, XSplit, Twitch, Philips Hue, Windows functions. There's a whole bunch of stuff it can do. There's also a bunch of the stuff where that the pro upgrade is required for the plugins. If you want to use any of this stuff, then you might want to look into using that pro upgrade and buying that pro upgrade. So what we want to do is we want to download it. Now we download touch pool. So here we go. You download your host and you download your client. So obviously I have an Android phone here. So I have downloaded the touch pool Android onto my phone. And on my PC, I downloaded and installed the Windows version. If we go and open up touch ball, here we are. This is touch ball. This is what it looks like. It was very simple to set up. It's, it really guides you through it. It's very nice. Uh, and actually, when I got onto my phone, I went into the settings. I'll show you here. I went into settings and I went setup wizard, which is just at the top. And I managed to connect to it via Wi-Fi. Now you can just plug in your device. So if uh, you have an old tablet or something you're going to use and you're just going to use it as a stream deck, you, it's not your phone that you use for anything else. Uh, you can just stick it on the desk and have it plugged in. That's totally an option. Uh, but just for today, I'm going to use this wirelessly. So I have set this up using just click the setup wizard and search for touch ball and it found it on PC. So another thing that you want to set up if you're using OBS is you want to make sure you set up your web socket, which means you have to go into uh, the, I'll show you here, you have to go into tools. Uh, and WebSocket server settings, and there it gives you your information and your password, which you're going to want to connect to Touch Portal in settings. Uh, and here, this is where you're going to want to do it, and you just put the password in there, and then it will connect to your OBS. Now we get on to the actual point of creating buttons and doing actions and things. So you can see that these plug and play buttons are just options that they have here automatically for you. These are pre made, you can toggle studio mode and stuff in OBS. But these two buttons that I just set up very quickly, which I can show you exactly how they work. So this is how this button works. I have set this button up specifically uh, on my stream. I have a, uh, a scene that is my game and I have also a scene that is my webcam. So whether I'm talking to the audience or whether I'm playing a game, I have a separate scene for this and I will switch between those. I used to have those set on the numpad so that I could change it on my keyboard. But with something like this, you just need this. Now these buttons are set up. This is the game one. I have used the simple game controller, which is in the icon pack. So you can go and choose icons from any of these packs that are built in, or you can just totally use a custom file that you've made or an image, whatever you want to use. Now, how I did this, I went down to OBS and I went to set scene and I dragged that over to here and on pressed, it will set the scene and I have set scene to game, which is the game scene. Now you'll see here that there's many other things you can do. You can open apps, you can start an application, run a shortcut, navigation, uh, just a lot of things. Utility, touch ball functions, oh, just, just so many things. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can have it do a mouse input. You can have it do move mouse, mouse clicks. Again, you really want to delve deep into this stuff to, to really get like the most out of it. There's a lot of stuff you can do. And like it said, if you want to use any of the specific plugins, then they are there, but they are something that is available only with the pro paid package. Let's make a completely different button, shall we? Let's just close that. So this one is very much the same. It just sets the scene to my face cam scene. So I can switch between two of them and we'll do that in a second because I am going to have to change from my recording setup to my stream setup to show you that. But let's just say we want to make a different button here. Let's just say we want to make a button. What does this button do? We could just mute me. How's that sound? 
So mute. So this is how we can do it. Now we can have it mute just my mute my mic. So this will mute my mic and we can go and choose an icon and let's go classics. Is there a microphone symbol here or something or, or, uh, or that works that that works as a mute. So we'll add that. Uh, you can also have text so we can put mute. Probably don't want it over the top of it. So we'll, we'll move that to the top that will mute the mic. So if I save that or I apply and save, you'll see that it's updated here, but it also immediately updated on my phone, flip phone. All right. So if I press this, I realized after I muted it that that it it then doesn't I didn't have an unmute button. So we can change that quickly. We can actually go um we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of we'll get rid of that action. We'll go on hold uh mute source volume. Here we go. Here we go. So this is I have to hold the button now rather than push it. It's fine. That makes sense. No on hold visual change action added yet. What does that mean? Change button visuals. Okay, we drag that into there. Uh let's change the background color green to red I, I don't know how this is going to work but let's try it so if i hold this it should mute my mic see i let go you can hear me i said now i'm muted if i do it again i said now you can't hear me you can see that it's working i said see you can't hear me so there we go that's a simple thing now, whatever you want to do, I just use my Stream Deck very simply to sort of just change scenes, to mute audio, to unmute audio. That's basically what I use it for. It's just a production thing for when I'm streaming. Uh, I like it very much. Uh, does this have some sort of integration with... I wonder if it has integration with... It's got to have Elgato. Speed test. Oh, my goodness. VLC. Window mover. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Elgato key light. Boom. Let's install these icons. Why not? Let's make these icons. Just grab those because they look cool. And then let's change this to a cool icon. Oh, it looks so good. These look so nice. Now the mute mic button is different. It's different. It looks cooler. It's a mute. It's a, it's a mute mic button. It still, still works but it looks cool now. I really want to get the Elgato one. I want to make the lights work. Perfection. Right, let's just try, let's make a button just to turn my light off for a minute, just because that'll be cool to show you. Uh, key light, please, please work. Key light, when you press it, I want that one to, to toggle. Uh-huh. Now maybe we can use a, a beautiful new uh, button smart light okay now theoretically this is a good test here because i haven't tested this theoretically i click this that goes off that light there that one will stay on but that one will go off ready it just works it just works and it's a toggle so i can just toggle it on and off how cool is that that's so sick now last thing i'm going to show you i will show you the changing of scenes with these two buttons i will go over and change the change over to my stream uh layout so that you guys can see it okie dokie here we are on my stream setup and so we're briefly just going to quickly show you that these buttons do in fact do what they're supposed to say so this the scene that we're on now is my face cam which is this one and we're going to change over to my gaming screen which will just show you my monitor because there's no game on it but it'll change scene here we go. See, look at that. Look, now I'm on the game screen where there would be normally a game, but there is actually not a game. There is just touch ball. We can go back to my face cam right now by clicking the face cam button. Then, Easy. Simple. It's just so good. It's a free stream deck. It's super cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Hope you guys found that useful. I think touch portal is a really, really good thing to be able to use. It's absolutely free to use if you just want to use it for things like changing stream, uh, changing scenes on stream and messing around with bits on your stream. The plugins are, again, awesome to have. And honestly, for the price, I think it's probably worth buying because you do get a lot of options with the plugins. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you did. We will be bringing you more tools in future. So please do remember to subscribe, like and comment over here at All Creator Tools. It really does help us out massively so I massively would appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching and remember to always have fun creating.